Good morning. I've been wanting to make a video on my favorite vegetables. The vegetables that I get the most out of. Zucchini, tomato, cucumbers, lettuce, green beans. These are the vegetables that I would call my survival vegetables because I can eat off of them throughout the whole season. Tomatoes are my number one plant in the garden. I plant a vine variety which grows all season. And if I keep them pruned, I get so many more tomatoes. I plant my tomatoes vertically, which makes it so I can plant them nine inches apart. Normally you would plant them two and a half feet apart. So with a small amount of space, you can get a lot more tomatoes. All right, let's go to my second favorite, cucumbers. I don't know what to say about cucumbers, except for you get a tremendous amount of cucumbers. They're so giving. I pick cucumbers every day. If I leave one or two days without picking, I get wagons full of cucumbers. They will give you plenty of food to feed your family. They're easy to grow. To get this many cucumbers, I have about 30 cucumber plants in my garden, but when I plant them vertically, you can plant them nine inches apart. Cucumbers are a little bit harder to transplant. Tomatoes are like super easy to transplant, but you can still do it. I just start them in a little bit bigger pot and handle them with lots of care. There are tons of different varieties of vine cucumbers. There's pickling cucumbers. The ones I grow the most are the ones that grow about from 10 inches to a foot long. That way you can harvest just a few to feed your family. Okay, here are just a few of my plants. I, you see the string, I use tomato twine and tomato clips to hold them up. I prune them, all the excess leaves off, any leaves that are getting old, the, a lot of the leaves that are close to the ground, I try to keep all vegetation off the ground. Cucumbers also do very well in pots and these were ready to be transplanted outside but you could also transplant them to bigger pots. Let's go on to my next favorite which is onions. onions I love because as your onion bulb is growing, you can trim and cut the tops and eat these. I also grow walking onions, which self-seed themselves. They are the first onions that come up and I trim them and eat them. And at the end of the season, they grow a little bulb on top and I replant them and I always have them forever. Zucchini is a must have vegetable for your survival garden. There are so many different varieties. You can use them in so many different ways. You can eat them raw, slice them and fry them. You can chop them, put them into stews, stir fry them, shred them, make zucchini bread, and you get zucchini throughout the whole season. You'll always get more zucchini than you want. And that's the kind of vegetable that we want to grow right now something that can feed our family and everybody else. If I had to reorganize my video, it'd be tomatoes, zucchini, cucumbers, and onions so far in the video as far as preference. I start my lettuce, well, I start everything indoors and lettuce is one of them to start. And usually I can start eating my lettuce before I even plant them outside. The same with chard, here's red and white dart them under lights and then plant them in pots. They seem to do well near a window. As they start to grow, you'll be able to harvest two to three leaves off of each plant and it starts out a nice little small pile of greens and then it grows into a larger pile of greens. And as the plant grows from the center, you keep harvesting the outer leaves. This also applies to the lettuce. Now you see these plants have gotten quite large. They are still indoors. They're still feeding my family. If I want and I get tired of them, I can plant them outside. The leaves are larger. I get quite a bit more and you can eat the stems. Even though this one is planted in a very small pot, it's given me a lot of food. 
We like to eat them in stir fries. We like to eat them with our scrambled eggs. We like to chop it up with onions and other vegetables and make pancakes, especially this plant. It's pak choy. I really enjoy it. It has a mild flavor and it's great for stir fry. As you can see, I have trimmed these plants, the outer leaves, and they keep growing from the inside. When my garden beds are ready outside and it's not freezing, I plant my lettuce. They enjoy the cool weather and they do quite well after transplanting. I also plant them in my greenhouse and in a very small space I can grow quite a large amount of greens. As you can see the pak choy has gotten quite large leaves after I plant them outside and this little bunch in my hand are when they've started to go to seed and I really like this. I clip them and eat them like broccoli. Pak choy is a fast growing plant. You keep harvesting the leaves. It likes cold weather and it gives you lots of greens. Okay, I've only got this one picture of green beans, but I would add green beans to my list. Um, bush beans grow in a very small space kind of a compact plant and gives you a lot of green beans for every bush. Green beans also have a vine variety that is a really good producer also. If you like growing things vertically and you have the space, that's another good choice. I have a couple more that I felt I needed to add to this video and uh, the first one is carrots. Now carrots is something that takes a long time and you get most of it at the end of the season but it does store well over the winter. I pulled these carrots. These are scarlet nate. I did not thin them so I got a lot of small ones. They have a nice little blunt end so they don't break which is really nice. I pulled these so I could process them Normally, I would just leave them in the ground and keep them covered and just eat as many as I can before it freezes. Then I store the rest of them in my garage. And I also store some in a plastic bag in my refrigerator. This is my carrot experiments. And this little box was full of carrots that I planted at the beginning of the season. And I kept eating them and then I decided to leave some throughout the winter. I have a greenhouse and it's not heated but I thought that these would be safe in here. I put a blanket over them. I did not water them. I did not cut the tops off. I just left it like it was. Now it's the end of March and I still have a few carrots left. So they did last throughout the winter. I didn't have to do anything to them except for throw a blanket on them and I've been eating carrots all winter. So this year I'm going to do the same thing again. It will be my little winter stash. Alright, I live in Idaho so I usually don't plant potatoes but I fa figured I better learn how. So I took a small space and I planted some red potatoes just to see if I could in my sand and sawdust soil they grew really well and they did well. Just go down to the nursery at the beginning of the year when they get in their seed potatoes. I have a good friend that plants them in straw and I know you can also plant them in pots. Winter squash is another plant that does really well. The two most favorite that I have are butternut squash. There's a little bit of seeds inside and lots of meat. Also easy to cut through. Spaghetti squash is another one that has a soft skin. You can steam it and shred it and eat it at hash browns or spaghetti. It's really good and the plants produce a lot and it stores really well. Right now I have some in my garage and it's 
the end of December. Okay, now I feel that the tomatoes, the cucumbers, the zucchini, the pak choy, the lettuce, the chard are all excellent vegetables for you to eat throughout the season. I love to experiment with different vegetables, but I think we need to stick to some of the basics. I hope this video can help someone make decisions on what they need to plant in their garden. These are the vegetables that I plant every year and I always get way more vegetables than I need. Now is the time to start thinking about your garden. What are you going to plant? Get your seeds now. If you're going to start your own plants, you need to get your seeds early. They might not have any seeds next year. We don't know what's going to happen.